What is up Wolfpack? Today we're going to be walking you through how to pick the best EDC belt so you can carry your concealed carry weapon securely, safely, and be stowed and ready to go. So um, walking you through a couple of these different options, you know, almost everyone would start with just a standard fashion belt. And the problem with these fashion belts, uh, this one's from Ped Baker, is as you can see here, it is super just loose and flimsy. It's really just designed to hold up your belt. And when you're carrying a pound of steel somewhere on your waistband, your waistband, it'll start to sag. Uh, even more dangerously is if when you go and try to uh, draw your concealed carry firearm, there's a chance for that to, to not, for you not to get a secure grip because the weapon isn't where you thought it would be. And so, you know, you kind of want to try to figure out, all right, I need something that's a little bit more secure. And, uh, you know, when you first start out and you really don't know, these are one of some of my old belts. I'm like, oh, if it's got a Cobra buckle, it's for sure a, a standard EDC belt. But as you can see here, this is just super cheap nylon. And uh, this is just a, an imitation Cobra belt. And so, I mean, you could see it didn't even lock securely. You really had to push that through. And so even something like this didn't work. And so one of my, the very first uh, EDC belts that I got was actually one of uh, something from Blue Alpha Gear. And so what I liked about the Blue Alpha Gear, number one, the price point, super cheap. It was, uh, you know, just an, a nice, easy way to go. Uh, it's very slimline and it also just uses a Velcro component. And so uh, this was actually a collaboration with Warrior Poet. You know, John Lovell's one of the guys that I, you know, I look up to and admire on, in the YouTube community. And so, you know, when he, cut, when, he, when he partnered with Blue Alpha, I was like, okay, this is super cool. Uh, let me pick this up. Um, you know, to be honest, I, I don't love it. You know, I mean, I thought I was gonna enjoy it because it doesn't have this, you know, buckle, but it is a little strange. It definitely looks a little too tactical for me. So I find myself wearing this a little less. I love that it's cheap. I love that I was able to scoop it up for, for a great price. I'm sure I'll be able to use it for certain uh, tactical courses, but it's probably not something that um, I would wear every single day, just simply because, you know, it doesn't look, you know, if I were to have my shirt tucked in for, for whatever reason, I mean, it doesn't look like a standard belt. And so um, actually Core ended up reaching out to me, you know, hey, this, this is fame, y'all. You know, I, I hit a thousand subscribers. I'm now an influencer. Uh, Core Belt reached out to me and was like, hey, we'd love to send you a belt. I'm like, you know what, let's check it out. And so it just arrived. Um, and so I wanna walk through it because this is one that's a little bit more fashion forward and probably looks like more like a standard fashion belt, but will obviously have hopefully that rigidity that we're looking through. And so this is my first impressions of this belt. When I popped this thing open, um, I was like, okay, cool, this is nice. You know, it, it kind of walks you through um, how to size the belt properly and all that. To be honest, this is a little intimidating. You know, I'm, I'm not used to assembly required with most of my belts. And so, uh, you know, you got an Allen key and a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, to be honest, this is a little, little intimidating. You know, the first time opening it up, I'm not expecting to be able to, uh, to have to assemble my belt, but here we are. So here's the buckle. I mean, I picked this one because this one just looks phenomenal. I mean, this is super cool. It's got the, you know, I think it's got a good combo of a little bit of tactical, you know, nature, but still professional enough that you could probably rock this at the office. Um, so this looks familiar to me. You know, it's, the, it's one of those belts where you sort of just, you insert and uh, it sort of straps in. So let's pull this out and let's take a look at the actual belt itself. So the belt itself looks like it's actually got um, sort of like this like nylon webbing material. And so it's definitely like not like a leather for this one particular, not a leather component. And it, you know, just, just given the way that this looks, this looks like it's one of those belts where you kind of have to just cut. So they, the good news is they kind of pre-measured it for you. So you could probably just give this thing a quick slice and you'll be able to, uh, to figure out, okay, this is the sizing that I'm looking for. And then I'm assuming that this is the, this is the section that you actually, I mean, obviously it's finished, is the, is the section that will insert into the actual buckle. And so let's see if we can try to figure this thing out. So you insert it here. And what, what this is supposed to do, it's kind of like got these shark teeth that's gonna create like a ratcheting system. And so it creates a really secure, where it'll get tighter, but it doesn't, it doesn't allow it to get looser. And I think by you pushing here, it'll release the latch and allow you to, to slide out the belt. So this is, I've heard great things about this, these ratcheting type systems. It allows you to get a really secure belt lock system. You can see how handsome that would look on your belt itself, on your pant line. Um, I mean, that's a pretty, pretty handsome looking belt. I'm not gonna lie, I like that belt buckle. It doesn't look too tactical, but it's enough. Um, the ratcheting system seems pretty secure. Let's take a look at the rigidity of the belt. I mean, it's, 
I'd give it like a seven, maybe eight out of 10 in terms of rigidity. Um, it's not enough to really hold a lot like, like my battle belt. And if you haven't seen that video, check that video out. But you can see here, this is definitely, I mean, I'm, it's not breaking. I mean, this is really pretty rigid. So maybe actually more like an eight instead of a 10. You know, let's compare that to the, uh, to the blue alpha gear. This one's actually, it's probably, this one's bending a little bit. You can see that. So it's actually even more rigid than the blue alpha gear, uh, which is pretty impressive. And so the way that this is supposed to work, I think, is you, you, you're supposed to insert this uh, in here. And you can see here that that's kind of how it goes. And then I, let's see, if, does this need to go in all the way? It doesn't look like it. Although I don't know why it has all that extra space. You can see that I'm trying to get that inside. I think that's all it needs. Yeah, it looks like it because it's got, if you see here, it's got like two little screws in there. So it looks like you just insert to the screws. Yeah, these, these two screws and then bite down on it. And so when you bite down on it, I mean, that's it. That's pretty, I mean, it's not bad. I don't know why, I don't know why they have this. I guess this is if you want to maybe extra. Oh, you know what I think it is? This is why you got to read instructions. I think you got to unscrew those screws. Back, use sharp scissors, gun belts. Yep, so you loosen the screws and the screws allow it to bite. So you loosen these screws, insert all the way, then screw it back down, really hex it down. And then this is sort of like the last minute, you know, um, just bite to be able to really lock it in. And so it's really the screws that hold this thing in and, uh, and be ready to go. And so I guess like off camera, I'm gonna have to, you know, cut this off and, and lock this in and really get this size properly and hope that the holiday pounds don't change me too much. Um, and hopefully be ready to go. But this is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool belt. Um, I'm, you know, obviously this is first impressions. Um, you know, I think this is this is pretty solid um, compared to all the other belts. This is this is definitely in line in terms of the quality and in terms of the construction, but probably a little better in terms of the fashion statements. And so check out their uh, check out their website. I'll leave a link in the description. You all can check this out. Um, I'll see, I think they sent me a code for 10% off, but I'm gonna see if I can get you guys a little bit, little bit extra, extra love there. Um, so take a look at the, at the description in the comments to find out a little bit more about the, about the system. But not bad, this is pretty cool. Um, so what I'll do, I'll probably do a follow-up video if y'all are interested um, after I wear this a couple times and really see how this thing compares when I'm rocking my, my hidden hybrid holsters and be able to figure that out. And so if you're all interested, I'll do a follow-up video uh, in terms of, hey, this is, this is sort of my, my long-term review on, on the core essentials belt. All right, y'all. Thanks, everyone.